So we all know about the standard corned beef and cabbage meal that we were just talking about, used to be bacon, uh, for St. Patrick's Day. But if you're looking to spice it up this year, One Valley Restaurant is putting a Mexican flair on it, and Ooh. Brad got the chance to taste it. So take a look. Their Irish eyes are upon you here at Recreo. Cantina, and did I say it right, Skyler? Just about. Say it correctly for me. Recreo. Recreo. Cantina. There you go. But after a couple of green drinks, you'll be saying it perfectly <laughs> and enjoying some great food for St. Patty's Day. And that's what you guys are excited about is that you got a couple of dishes here that people are going to enjoy. And I got to start with the signature one, I think, for St. Patty's Day, and that is the corned beef and cabbage and potatoes. But you guys are doing it Mexican style. We are. We are. We're, uh, we're calling it the Irish taco. <laughs> Love uh, it. Yeah, so it's just, uh, we do corned beef, potatoes, uh, we put some fresh cabbage on top, and then this salsa mustasa, which is like a mustard sauce. I like it. All right, let's get down here to, of course, a nice little meat dish. All right, so these are uh, the birria tacos. Uh, it's, uh, it's roasted, uh, it's a truck that's roasted low and slow for, for hours, and then um, shred it up a little bit, um, and then we fry, actually fry the tortillas in the juice and fat from the beef. Yeah. Um, and it's there to die for. I like it. I like it. Okay, now you're going to be with friends. You're going to all want to make sure you're getting something, a little appetizer right there. Yep, yep. We have the, uh, the Southwestern egg rolls uh, oh. filled with like chicken mm. and corn and beans. And they're just, they're one of my favorite things on the menu. I like it. Okay. And you can't go wrong with this. You now, this is a hot dog. What do we have here? Well, this is our Sonoran style hot dog, which is a, it's a, a beef frank that's, that's wrapped in bacon. Um, and then we grill it, then we top it with beans, with tomato, with uh, like pico de gallo, um, different sauces, and it's just, it's good, good drunk food. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, speaking of uh, drinking, you guys are gonna have the green beer, I like, and then these two signature margaritas, what do we got here? And so th these are our, our, our house margaritas um, that we turned, that we made green, you nice. know, for St. Patty's Day. Uh, we have a frozen, uh, we use uh, a Corazon tequila, um, and then we, everything is, is house made. I yeah. like this. Okay, let's talk about hours for St. Patty's Day. What time are you going to be in? St. Patty's Day, well, we're going to be open all day. Um, I like it. But the festivities will probably start around 6 o'clock, okay. 6 p.m., and then go until midnight. I like that. With a DJ, of course, uh, yep. you never know what else. Mary Mariachis, different things happen here. you got to stop in and check it out. And what's really neat, too, is that it's not just St. Patty's Day as you guys celebrate things, do you? You guys are celebrating all the time, aren't you? All the time. All the time. We have live music uh, three days a week now. Um, and then uh, we have Cinco de Mayo coming up. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> we got. Well, we're, we're gonna have a little mini donkey. Oh here. my gosh! Wow. Um, yeah, it might even bring your beer over to you. <laughs> I love it. That's what I like. All right, it is again called Recreo Cantina. Cantina, meaning meaning recess or uh, recreation. All right, there you go. Well, come on over St. Patty's Day for a little bit of recreation and a little, of course, delicious food and drink.